the Science Academy Slime Lab. Got all of our things out. Dawson's ready to go. We're gonna record and we're gonna follow the directions. So the first thing is to get your sodium alginate packet. Pour half of it into your jar that it gives you, which we did. All right. And then once you do half, it says get some tape and tape it, tape it up for your next batch. So we're doing that. So then it says turn on the faucet of your kitchen sink to a slow drip of warm water. Use it to fill the jar to the level shown at the right. Oh, this is so glue. So in the directions, it says basically to fill it up. This is glue. To about the top. This is right glue. Here. Yes, we're not there yet. Yeah. I'm not so, so far the directions seem pretty good. So we're going to go fill it up. See y'all in a sec. Be right back. Okay, so we filled it up to the water on the line. And now Dawson's going to put the lid on it. It's inside the gloves. Yes. Really tight. Make sure, turn it left and right. Make sure it's on there good and it's not going to spill out. Yep, got a little safety thing on there. And it says, put the lid on the jar and shake. Knew it. Shake it good. Up and down. Keep shaking. It says pause and then shake again. Repeat this process for about 20 minutes or until the solution becomes thick and lumpy. Or you can leave the solution to dissolve overnight. No, we're not doing that. So we're going to have to shake it and then come back in 20 minutes. But keep shaking. So we'll see you back in about 20 minutes and see what happens. Okay, we're back. And it's been about 20 minutes and it looks kind of like this. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of clumpy still, but it looks good. So we're going to move forward. So the next. And the clock had to say... 11.45. Yes. So, now we have our calcium chloride solution. We're going to put it in our little tray. No, nope, no, nope, we're not going to open it. Or, yeah, we can open it. Let me try to do it. because oh We have to be careful, baby. We can't spill it. Okay, so we're going to open this. Maybe have a parent help you unless you're a little older. Because this is... Unless you're like 20. Okay, yeah. whatever. You can still have your parents help you. Okay. And put it in here in our little tray. Don't spill it. Get your little pipette. And we're going to squeeze three milliliters with our pipette. There's measuring on it. Squeeze all the way up to three. Remember how you use multiple fingers? We practiced beforehand. Is it three? Okay, squeeze it again until we get all the way to three. Perfect. And put it into your beaker. Dump it all in there. Okay, then you put your pipette in the little tray because we don't want it to touch anything else. And we're going to put our lid back on. Back on, so we're real careful with this. We got that. Then it says that we want to take our beaker and we are going to fill it up to the 30 line on here with water from the faucet. So we're gonna do that, and then bring the camera away. Bring the camera away. No, we have to bring the camera. So we'll be right back. So we filled it up. 
to 30 milliliters, roughly, okay. Now we have our calcium chloride and water mixed together. We haven't started the food coloring, but we'll do that next. And now our scientist is going to pour it into our oh. little lab station. So he's gonna pour all the water in there and not to spill any of it, get it all in there real good. Now it's gonna start working. These two things are working together, water, calcium chloride. So we can save the rest of this because there's enough in here to make up nine more little baths. Yeah. Because that's kind of what we made was a little bath. So we are going to make fake fish eggs. With red food coloring. Yes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pipette. Get that pipette out for me, please. Be careful not to spill anything. My gloves are too slippery. Okay, let me help you. You hold the tray so I don't spill it. Okay. Thank you. So we have the pipette and we're going to cut the tip of it off. And you cut off as much as you want depending on how thick. So you want to cut a little bit, then it'll be smaller fish eggs. Cut it up here, it's going to be bigger fish eggs. Bigger. So you I want, want bigger. to do bigger fish eggs. So we're going to cut it right here. Whoa, that was a good cut. <laughs> okay, so this has our calcium chloride on it, so we gotta be careful with it. Okay, leave it there. So now we have a pipette with a new tip. So our scientist is gonna take that. Now we're gonna get our beaker. That's what we call it. And we're going to add 15 milliliters of alginate stock. So remember this thing that we made. Yes. So we're gonna use, pour 15 milliliters. It's gooky. Gooky, let me see. Like slime. Ew. So it says we're gonna add three drops of red color to the beaker. So, I'm gonna pour some of this, 15 milliliters. I gotta see where that is in here. 15. Oh, that looks like slime already. 15. I don't know where it is. Whoa, that's too much. Pour some back in here. Okay, that's 15. We're gonna put our little lid back on. Probably gonna need a paper towel, but that's okay, we'll get that in a minute. Okay, leave that down here. And now we're gonna do that's three. That's 15. Yeah, that's 15. It's 10. It's close enough. Okay, we're gonna take our food coloring. Hey, I'll do that. You're gonna do it, yeah. You're just opening it? Yeah. So three drops, so be very careful. When you dump it upside down, it's gonna come out real fast. No, so you just, can do it. No, you can do it. Do it. I'll do one. That's one. See how I just turned it upside down and didn't even squeeze it. Yeah, because there was already one. Oh, one on the side again. Squeeze it just a little bit. Here it comes. Squeeze a little bit. Squeeze. Squeeze. Hard. Just a little bit. Squeeze harder. There's two. One more. Squeeze. 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 You can do it. Be confident. Just squeeze it. You got it. Squeeze it. You got to squeeze it. Put some force into it. Not too hard, but just squeeze enough to get one little drop out. Squeeze it harder. I think you need it. I'm going to squeeze in the middle. See where the writing is? The little label? Squeeze right there. You can do it. Squeeze it. 
Yep, squeeze. Oops. Okay, use your other two fingers. Squeeze it like maybe like that. You're doing it. It's coming a little further. Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. Oh, they're too slippery. You do it. Oh, I did two more. Okay, we did four. That's okay. Okay, use your straw, or straw, your stick, and you're going to mix it. Mix, 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 That's mix. That's my favorite part. You're mixing good, and you're stirring it. You're doing good. I love stirring. Got it all stirred up. Got the little clumpy parts all mixed. Can you break them up or no? You're just not breaking up. Oh. And stir, 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 stir. And then we're going to get our little pipette again. Okay. And we're going to squeeze can out. Take this one? You can leave it in there. Okay, squeeze until it fills up to the two. Remember how we squeezed it to get it to fill up? Ooh, good, okay. Now we're gonna go over and we're gonna drop into our little bath. All of it? Nope, just little drops. Squeeze, plop. Good, move over, squeeze, plop. Keep it high enough so it doesn't touch the liquid. There you go. Squeeze. Good. Move around a little bit. You're making the legs. Keep going. Don't let it touch. Squeeze and drop. Squeeze, drop, go to the next. There you go. So the calcium chloride that's in your little bath is bonding with that alginate. And the inside of these little droplets are gonna stay like liquid. So it's gonna make a hard shell on the outside and it's gonna be gooey on the inside. So that's good, let's stop there. Get our spoon, Not spoon. Oh. our blue spoon. And we're gonna scoop out one of those fish eggs. Just one of fish egg. So can you get just one of those fish eggs? Okay, put, it, put your spoon over here. And get that fish egg out with your fingers and squeeze it. And you're going to see how it got a hard shell. And the inside is liquid. So squeeze it onto here. See? And it broke and there's just goo inside. Like slime. But see how the outside got solid? So you can get another fish egg out. And then what? Keep looking at the fish eggs. We can make more fish eggs if you want, and then we're gonna put some of them in our little tube. So you can scoop out a couple of more and squeeze them, or put them in our tube for safekeeping and make some more. You don't want the liquid part, just the egg. I'll hold it against the side and pour out just the egg. Dump the egg in there. Is that an egg? Mmm, that's a good one. Got a hard shell. There's another egg. That's a fun one to make. Get two at once. 
Alex Lane. And the eggs. Wouldn't that be cool if there was really something growing in there? Ooh, those are like perfectly round. I know. Can I put all of them in there? Yeah, you can make some more too. There's about two milliliters in there. And then go over here. Drop. Ooh, that was a huge one. Drop. Wait, now you gotta wait a few seconds before you take them out. Because they gotta create their hard shell. So again, that little bath that we have of the calcium chloride. That's a seven. <laughs> warm. That's a seven. So that bath, that chloride bath, and the sodium alginate is mixing together. This is what's is it ready? Yeah, I think it's ready. Can we get the seven? <laughs> seven. Slippery worm in there. So you can keep making as many as you want. Ooh, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. And then we'll dump out any of the excess liquid when we're done. Get three at once. So we're going to finish making our eggs and then we'll go on to the next experiment. Okay, so we made our eggs. Yeah, let's hold it right there so they can see it. Look how great they look. Yikes, slime eggs. And if you want, you can squeeze them. We squeezed. Yeah, we squeezed one. See how it's like the membrane. Yeah, you can squeeze them, but I just saved them all. We squeezed two, but I saved the rest. Okay, so now we're going to make green jelly worms so oh so i can eat them no oh, but if we practice we can make them longer and longer and longer, longer and longer so until they gonna, stick out so we're gonna start scoop that one a little bit so they can see you we're gonna start with our sodium alginate we're gonna do another we because it comes with two little Yeah, so we've got another beaker. A here's our leftover from the red. We're going to use that later. So here's our little beaker. Little beaker, and we're going to do 15 milliliters into this one. There's a little measuring thing on the side. Just like the one, other one. Right there. there. Okay. So now we're going to add two or three drops of green. Two. Let's do two. Okay. Well, you, the more drops, the greener it's going to be. So you want really green or just a little green? A lot of green. Okay. Then you're going to want to do three drops. Can you open it? I think you can do it. You just twist it off. Mine are too slippery. So I've already been touching enough liquid. Okay. So now remember, you squeeze it where the label is and use both hands if you need to, but dump it up here and do three drops. Don't be shy. Just squeeze it. Squeeze a little. The more you get, One. just... Yeah, you can do more than two. Do a little more so it'll be darker. Three. There you go. Okay, now you're going to get another little straw. Or straw. He said a straw. Stick. It's not a stick, it's a spatula. <laughs> kind of. It's a stir stick for scientists. 
Stir, stir, stir. And if you want it greener, we can add more green food coloring. Yeah, I want it green. Okay, so let's add a couple more drops. Can you do it this time? Okay. Because I've already Ooh, done it. it looks like kind of a, a glow green. Orange green. Okay. Stir it more and see if that's the color you're looking for. And put the lid back on. Our... Yep, that's the color I'm looking for. Okay, great. So now we're going to get our pipette. It has Which a little one? bit of red in it, but that's okay. Yep, get the pipette. Yep. And we're going to pull up two milliliters do you see where the two milliliter mark is here and then when you put it in here you're gonna slowly do it around like that because you're trying to make a worm so squeeze it up all the way up to the two let go did you get it no that's to the three that's fine and then you're gonna Drop it in there. It's a little red from our prior one. That's okay. Those are eggs, so we don't want to do eggs again. There you go. Don't let it touch. And you might have to try it again. Can you do it? Cause I, um, just, okay, yeah. let me show you what we're going to do. Squeeze it up to the two. And then we're going to slowly make a little worm like that. I think I have a couple in there. Try it again. Slowly. Got some longer ones. So, wait a few seconds, and we're going to spoon those out into another beaker that we have. I'm going to save some. Yep. So, it, it, so it's going to take some practice. So, we've got plenty to practice with, and we're going to see what we can come out with. So, now I think it's time to try to scoop them out. Can you do one first, if I feel comfortable? Can you, do you can one? scoop them out. I don't know how to scoop. Put it in, put it in. Got our worm. Oh, yeah. That's a nice muscle worm. It actually kind of looks like it has muscles. There's our little worm. I got two. So now he's got more. And you can mm -hmm. squeeze these. I don't want to. We're going to keep try to get some of the liquid out or we'll just pour it out when we get it in here. And if we decide we want to make them greener, we can make the next batch even greener. Oh, slimy worms. I got some red slime on there, too. Got three. Ooh. Those are all eggs. I'll make, okay. let's make them more. Okay. So squeeze it up. And then it's all, move the spoon. And then it's just going to take practice because you got to keep it going. Oh, and then it broke. That's kind of a good one. Got to wait. Give it a few seconds to set. Because all those molecules are attaching. Is so it ready now? it makes now? it a hard Is it shell. ready now? Give a few more seconds. And then we can take it out. And then we've been getting a no. little bit of the liquid out like that. Now so can I get it? See. Now can I get it? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, slimy worm. Perfect. Wow. Good. We're going to wow. keep finishing our little slime worms. We'll be back.
Okay, so we got some worms, and now we want to make some black tadpoles. So here's our worms. That we finished. Kind of see, we just did a few of them. So now we're going to put our lid on. But now we're going to take the green that we have. I'm going to need that in a minute. I'm going to put, mix the red that we had from our first experiment into the green. And then we're going to add some more coloring. That's the exact amount. That's the same amount. So get this red in with the green. Whoa! Mix it together. And now we need to get the red and the green food coloring. And we're going to add some more. What about this spoon? Not yet. I really want to touch it. Okay. Two more drops of green. Two more drops of red. Oh. You did better that time because it's already been... Do more than two if you want. Two. Okay, now two drops of red. Okay, now you're going to get a stir stick after you put that oh, lid on. Yes, it's going to feel so satisfying when you get a stir stick. <laughs> okay, get a stir stick. Yes. And we're going to stir it until it becomes disgusting black slime. We might have to add more green. Is it black yet? Probably need to add more green. Let's add more green. Because red and green make black. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll use a lot. Okay, now stir it. See if it turns black. We might need to add a little more red. Getting closer. Is that black enough? It's getting close. Keep going. It's kind of brown right now. Put a little more green. My head been hurting. Now we're gonna get something to eat in a minute. Always remember, all scientists need to have lunch as well. Stir that up good, and I think it'll be brown, but that's a good And parents color. have to help you. Yes. Definitely. Now, and a lot of this could be poison, so just remember. It does come with glasses, gloves, and the mask, but I'm just wearing gloves and mask, not really mask. Okay, I think that's good, unless you want to make it, you want me to make it more red, or I mean more black? Yeah. A lot of green. Okay. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to use our dropper again. Mix it a little more. Oh my God. 
Okay, do you want to make tap? I'm eating. <laughs> Let's do tadpoles and then we'll stop. And then everybody else can take a break too. Okay, so it's not exactly black, but it's close and it's gross. It's yeah. good and slimy. So can we're I gonna use it? our little pipette. Oh wow, that's super satisfying. Okay. So we're going to use our dropper into our little bath again. So right there. And we're gonna make it look like little tadpoles. So it has like a little drop of a head and then a long little tail. Drop, drag. Okay, squeeze some in there. Yeah, that's good. Drop. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Drop, drag. Ooh, that looks like a double-headed one. That's a fat one. That's a mommy one that's going to have a baby. Whoa. That's a good one. Squeeze and drag. Good one. These are like double headed ones. These are like alien tadpoles. Ooh, that good one. That's good. Was good. Get more of the slime and make more. We'll fish these out. So now get your spoon. Yeah. It's messy, but that's okay. Okay. So now, where do you want to put them? Just put them down on the table. Or we can go get a jar. Okay, just put them here and we'll look at them. We can make lots. <laughs> Don't pop them. I'm not going to pop them. Look at this one. Whoa. Come in, Mo. I'm coming with the green. Whoa, look at this little slimy guy. One one laid an egg already. One laid an egg. See that? See? One, mm. Mama, don't squeeze it. Oh, wow. Well, it's like a clear one. Yeah, one, ma one laid an egg. And babies are coming to the station. It's been like an air bubble. This one Can brought an egg. Open. This one brought an egg. egg. There, baby. That one There's brought another one. Yeah, I know that one brought an egg with it. Come on, we're babies. We're babies. Okay. Now we're going to make, make an eyeball. Okay, first we're going to start with one of our um, eggs that we made, our fake fish eggs. And we're going to put it in our spoon. So put that egg in our spoon and then show them what you do. I don't want to do that one. That one's a no, baby. No, it's a perfect one. It's perfect size. I want to do this one. Okay. It has okay, to be just a drop. Bye bye, baby. You're gonna be an eyeball now. Okay, let's show them what it looks like. Yep, just get a little drop in there. Now we're gonna get our 
sodium alginate that we still have. And we're going to carefully dip the spoon deep into the bath. Oh, here, put one, then fill it. Okay, so we're going to fill it. Here, let me see it. Fill it, and then you're going to slowly put it in the bath. Okay, don't, don't dump it over. Go put it in the bath, in the bath water. Slowly jiggle the spoon under the bath surface. So put it under there, dip it down there. Don't pour it, just dip it down in it. Nope. Dip it down in there. Jiggle the spoon. Get all that liquid on it. Keep going. Do you let it out of the spoon? Leave it in the spoon. Jiggle it. Jiggle it. Jiggle it. Mommy, you do this part. Okay, see if you take it out. If it's in the shape of an eyeball. Nope, still jiggle it. Hadn't hardened yet. It's out. It's okay. Should be able to scoop it up now. See if it made an eyeball. Can you do this? Well, that's still cool. Take it out. It made like a gel with an eyeball in it. Dump out the liquid. Yeah, that's good enough here. Whoa. Let me see. You. Can I squeeze it? Yeah, squeeze it over the bath. Whoop! That was cool. Didn't really make an eyeball, but it's still really cool. Yeah, because I like. Here's I the like, eyeball. That's the eye. Mm hmm. You want to try it again? You want to try a bigger one? Give me the spoon. You want to try a bigger one. Popped it. Okay, put this in the spoon. Give me the spoon. Okay. Dump all that out. Okay. I'm going to pour this in there. Hold it down so it doesn't dump out. Okay, now let me hold it in there. So you're putting it in the bath. So you're leaving it in the spoon. Because remember, this liquid is what goes around it. Make a hard shell. That's right. That was from my last video. Jiggling it. And if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Because it's really cool. Check it out after this video. <laughs> okay, I think we've about got an eyeball. There's a green one in there. <laughs> it's an eyeball with green. Okay, now let's see if it made like an eyeball. Duh. Better than mine, but... Whoa. <laughs> no, I mean... Not really an eyeball, but it's like a baby inside of an eyeball. Don't squeeze it. Show them what it looks like. It's like an eyeball sticking out of an eyeball. Let me see. Put it on my hand so I can see. But don't squeeze it. Oh. Did you 
plus mon disco et il est 1500. Yeah. But how is it hard if I squeezed it? Oh, it's not hard like a rock. It's just hard like covering it. Squeeze one of these and see if you I'm going to squeeze one and then we'll be done. There it is. Squeeze it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, we're done. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Bye!